All right, everyone, we made it back. Yep, we did. And it's, what, about 3 o'clock or something? Yeah. So, I got a, I got a safari started there. I want to show, I don't do a lot of wood processing because I think it's boring. But I'm going to show you something at um, what I've been using all weekend. A lot of guys will tell you, you got to go buy all this expensive stuff and don't buy the Walmart stuff. Well, let me show you something here in just a second. Okay guys, so this hatchet I've been using all weekend on wood. Everybody says my gloves at. Everybody says Oh, get you a good one. Go pay two hundred dollars for one. Well, some of us can't do that, and some of us, it would take three years to do that, but we want to go camping and enjoy the outdoors. Get what you can afford. That's what me and Monkey do, right, Monk? That's right. And I'm hitting it on the handle. It's full metal. As you can see, it's not bent. Walmart. Yep. Now, what about the knife? Well, let's see how this junky Ozark Trail knife does. Didn't bend. All right, let's try a thicker one. Let's see how it does. As you can see, it's going through. This is just a little piece of wood. heavier one there we go as you can see it's going through it and I've had this knife for about four years and I have not sharpened this knife not once have I monk and I use it all the time so, yeah, get what you can afford, guys. And I have a machete over there. Granted, it's not great either, but it gets the job done. But you get the idea. It will split thick wood. You can baton with these things. 
it's not bending. So, patience will prevail. And like I said, if you want to use a bigger piece of wood, not one ding in that blade not one not one ding in the blade of that so yeah get what you can afford don't listen to all these review channels you got to get this and you got to get that nine times out of ten they didn't buy it either they didn't pay three hundred dollars for that knife it was sponsored affiliation link will be in the description yeah they gave it to you what was you using before go back a couple years see what they're using before they became a big youtuber they're using this crap same stuff i'm using so it's fine isn't it monk yeah it works good and you didn't have to pay a fortune for it well no uh, monkey's mom got these for me for christmas and I was going to buy these this set one time. Came with a machete, these two items, fire striker, a couple other things, hank of paracord. It works. You know, get what you can, you know, like here's the thing. Survival situation. Would you have ra rather have this piece of junk, quote unquote, or would you rather have nothing? Think about that. Okay guys, so for tonight's supper, it's going to be quick and easy. We got some bread. We got some of this pizza sauce. Chef Boardy. Pizza maker sauce. We've got some pepperoni. We've got some mozzarella creamy melt cheese from Philadelphia Craft. Okay, so, but how are we going to open this? I could use that knife. I could have brought the can opener that monkey had in her can and I said don't worry about it because I got something. So I got this little thing in a box of um, had some old 1940s military stuff in it. This is a P38 and as you can see it's an olive drab but on here it says U.S. K-A-Y 1962. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right there. 1962. This is an actual military issue P-38. Now they call it a P-38 because in rations I'm not sure how many it would take on one of these cans, but in a ration can, they called it the P38 for puncture, and it would take 38 twists to open a can. The hole, that hole on there, right there, that little hole right there, that was so you could hang it and dip it in boiling water and sterilize it after each use or before each use. So I thought that's pretty cool. So let's give this a try. I'm sure most of you guys, if not all of you, have seen someone using one of these, but I haven't done it on, on film. But let's go ahead, let's open this can up, and let's see how many turns it's going to take to open that can of Chef Boardy pizza making sauce. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take this, that part like that, and this little hook deal right here is going to hook onto the can like that and then you're going to twist away from you there's puncture I don't know if they consider the puncture one but let's count this there's two three four five six I'll speed you up and I'll let you know how many times
pretty close. 37. Now, if I wasn't counting that, I would, um, I would have uh, went right around there. It goes really quick. They also made a bigger one too for bigger cans. It was bigger and it was longer for more leverage. So there we go. Now we take our piece of crap, Walmart thing that no one should ever buy, and we're gonna lift our lid up out. There we go. Now, let's make our little pizza pockets and then for dessert, because Monkey's got to take some to her mom, I'm going to make her mom some too. For dessert, we're going to make apple pies, which I've already showed you, but maybe I'll show you a little bit of it again. So, how many did I say that was? 36? 37. Or thir 37? Mm -hmm. Look, there's a piece holding it. There's your 38. There you go. Right on the money. Mm -hmm. P38. Puncture, turn 38 times. Cool. Okay, so Monkey's doing her intro. Go ahead, Monkey. You're not bothering me. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're not bothering and me. Shea Bear is getting ready for dinner. What are you making, babe? Um, pizza pockets. Yeah. So we're going to have pizza pockets and we're going to have apples. Apple pies. Apple pies? Okay. Yeah, that's what these are for. They're actually pie irons. Yeah. That's why I've been calling them pie irons. So, he's gonna do this and we're gonna watch him. Well, this stuff, you don't want to get it too saucy because it'll soak through the bread and then it won't toast right and you'll have a mess. So it just takes a little bit. You can use little sausages, you know, cut up some sausages, whatever. I have made it before with Vienna sausage. I know monkey don't like it, but some of you guys might. Okay, so there's this. Now let's put some pepperonis on here. You want them cut up? Sorry about their boats, guys. There's nothing I can do about it. Do you want them cut up? No, I'm fine with them. I'll make them whole. Now, cheese time. Probably a lot more than what we need. And if you like some sauce, you can dribble a little bit on this piece of bread too if you want. Alright, now. Alright. Now we're gonna flip this over. Flip our little handle. Let's put it on the fire. Okay, so now we're just gonna put this on the fire. Um, you can do this right over flames, which I might put a couple pieces of wood in there to make it flame up. It'll get done faster, but you know, just go until it's toasted how you like your toast. You know, light, dark, it doesn't matter. However you want it. It's your creation. Put whatever you want in it. There we go. Now I'm going to make another one get put on here. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. And then I'll show you when it's done. What it looks like. And then Monkey will have to taste test one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Let's get Monkey's out here. Look at that. That looks good. Wow. Look at that. Like nice. I said, it goes as 
dark or as light as you want, but it's toasted. Cute. That's Very cute. Nice. Yeah. See, like this one. She might like this one better. I'll leave this in here so it can stay warm for her. Cut it in half. Diagonal? Sure. That one's mine. I grabbed the wrong one out. I was like that cheese ain't melted. Uh. Or the other one, I mean. All right, here we go. Here it goes. Clean that off. I gotta put mine back in. There you go. Oh, well, that looks good. Oh, look at the cheese running out. Yeah? Oh, like that. Ooh, All right, I'm gonna let that cool and then when she gets ready to take a bite, mm -hmm. I'll bring you back. Okay, monkey. <laughs> Don't blow in the camera. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's blowing in the camera, but her mic's on her chest. She's whistling to make sure that the mic's working. She's going into the camera. The mic's on your chest. Okay, so she's she's going to... You know, I'll cut that on mine and you'll keep yours. I'm keeping it in mine. All right, guys. So this is it. I'm going to try it out. It looks good. Very simple. Mm. Oh, yeah. Does it taste like pizza? Tastes like pizza. Yeah. Uh-huh. Very good, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that <laughs> that string pool. String pool? Cheese pool. <laughs> You're supposed to go see how far you can do it. Oh. <laughs> we call it a cheese pool. See how far you can pull the cheese before it breaks on its own. <laughs> but Very good, babe. Thank you. You're welcome. You can buy that Pillsbury pizza crust mm -hmm. or whatever you know you want to do we're just using bread yeah. it's cheap yeah and we already had the the pizza sauce mm -hmm. from when i made homemade pizza a while back yeah so all right there you go monk enjoy thank you i got your other one cooking here all right <laughs> look at that there's a perfect hole in this board isn't that cool That is neat. That could be like post 10. Wow! Look at that perfect hole! <laughs> he gets so excited over little things like that. It's funny. I'm not making fun of him because, you know, I like him. But, yeah, yeah that's just, that's what he would... Wow, look at it! Look! <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Cracks me up, but that is pretty cool. <laughs> Neato. There's two holes there. Wow. Yeah, there's one right there too. And one right above it. That's funny.
pretty cool. Yeah. Two of them, look, Mama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pretty neat, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. So as you saw, monkey's back. Well, I know I didn't tell you she left. I, I didn't even turn the camera on when you was gone. No. Yeah, I made my food. Yeah. And then, um, bad toothache. But then I started watching Musty One, and uh, he had a two-hour one on tonight. Well, today. So, <clears throat> but since I was out here, and I went home and just threw that video up for you guys, edited it. And got it up for you and then came back out here i thought well while she's gone i'll watch musty so that's what i did now i ate my food and then i laid down in the tent there on the cot and um watched musty so yeah it's got us a good fire going and when she gets down there i'll back the truck up and uh get it all hooked up before it gets dark and then yeah then we're gonna watch a watch another movie tonight huh yeah, it's not. this time i'm not gonna prop it up on that table oh you're gonna remember this time what you can you put it on a tripod yeah <laughs> so well, we both forgot. and i had a i said to smash a pop can just the right height to, and then i'm sitting there after after i spent 10 minutes fiddling around with it i was like i told her i was like oh no she said what I said, that'll go on a tripod. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll be back with you. Cody's are hollering. Cool. They're, they sound like they're way over on the other side of the marsh. Okay guys, so I watched a couple movies. They weren't really movies, just a couple things I downloaded off of uh, YouTube. Storytelling stuff, huh, Mama? She was interested, wasn't you? So we watched two of them, and uh, it's still early, isn't it, Mama? It's like, what, 1040? <laughs> so, of course, I'm going to watch some YouTube. Monkey ain't even got her phone out, so she's done. You done, Monk? <laughs> I'm a little tired when you, when she, I was watching, like I said, I was watching a uh, musty one, and, uh, I ate my, I, I fixed my little pizza pocket things, I made them, ate them, and I was sitting there watching musty, and I was like, man, be more comfortable in here on this, uh, cot, so I came in here, and this is what I did, this is how I got it set up here, my phone, I laid here, and I was, half dozing off she messaged me and said she was on her way and I was half dozing off and it was just coming to an end and well it just ended so I was just coming out of the tent when she pulled up so yeah a monk yeah. all right so yeah I didn't do any time lapse or anything this is kind of a quick video um but yeah, had a good fire going, didn't we, Mama? Yeah. Had some good snacks yeah. that we were going to review. <laughs> but Make it. you know, you know, you had your cheese and pepperoni. Yeah, I know. I didn't like Because I was like, "Where's my?" Because she bought me Funyuns. Well, the cheap, you know, onion ring things. The cheaper version of Funyuns. I love them. Things are good. And I said, "Where's my onion rings at?" And of course, in perfect monkey fashion, she answered with, are they in the truck? Now, if I knew that, <laughs> so, I got, so I went over and got me a pop out of the cooler. And she said, we can have those, uh, what do you call them? Pork rinds. pork rinds. They're actually party mix. There's pork rinds in them, but there's all different other kinds of stuff. <laughs> I thought you wanted to do a review. Yeah, but we could have just the one bag. Uh oh, what's that? Oh. 
comment. So anyway, yeah, that's what we did. Uh, so we watched her movie and eat those, or, or listen to her. You know, she's got pic different pictures, but there's like several different stories. Pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, it was. Which one was your favorite? Um, I don't know. They had some really good ones. The first one was all about Florida stuff happening in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I don't think I'm going to do my story time. Uh, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to watch some uh, 63% battery. No, it's 63 degrees out. I got 77% battery on my phone, so I think I'll just watch YouTube until it goes dead. Or until I go do whatever goes first. <laughs> if I decide, if I change my mind or whatever, uh, I'll tell story time. If not, I'll see you guys in the morning. Tell them night, Monk. Night. <laughs> okay. See you guys in the morning, unless something funny happens or whatever. I don't know what that is down there. Alright, guys. Good night. Those are close. They're right behind us. I'm going out. Okay. Huh? But that's no more than 150 feet away from us. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Good morning, everyone. What time is it, Mama? Like 8 30 or something? Might be. Nine o'clock. It's about 8 30. Maybe going on 9. So she's getting ready to have her coffee. Mm. Then we're going to tear it down. And there's some people over here in the Jeep. They're going to come and get this spot when we leave. We're going to leave here in a couple hours. So yeah. They camp in all these places too that we camp at, huh? Yeah. yeah. They camp on Hootie Point at the river. And they camp at uh, uh, Flying Eagle. And they camp here. So we see them a lot. So yeah, I'm going to get her coffee made. Start getting some stuff ridded up and then uh, we'll pack up and we'll go so stick around guys so yesterday monkey took some things home with her to leave there um, was it yesterday yeah she yeah. said you gonna need your bread and I said no I, I don't think so but she took my bread home was it yesterday Saturday Saturday she took my bread home so, and then for yesterday supper I came up with that idea about the the you know pizza pockets and things she couldn't find the bread anywhere she said well I gotta go get some bread and I was like all right so she went and got some bread because she had to get uh, some cheese anyway so she got the bread and I kept asking her where have you found that bread yet no maybe it's in the truck I says I know it's not in the truck I said, I remember handing it to you, and you said you was going to take it home. Now, I, I'm getting ready to roll up my bivy here. I'm getting my stuff all packed away. And I come over, and I unzip the bag for my bivy. And lo and behold, there's the bread. This is my bag for my bivy. Because this is for my sleeping pad. <coughs> Um, now, and the first thing she said is, well, I didn't put it there. Well, I didn't either. <laughs> so why she put that in there, zipped it up, 
in my bivy bag bag. I don't know. So. <laughs> We've been looking for that bread everywhere. <laughs> I told her, I said, if we see a, a tree start growing out between the seats or something in the car, we'll know where the bread is. But I found it. Why would you do that? I didn't put it in there. All right, who did? Because I know. You had to. There's right. only two of us. Okay, exactly. And why would I put a loaf of bread in my night cat bivy sack. I don't know. To preserve it? I have no idea. No, because you said, you want me to take this home or are you going to need it? And I said, no, I'm not going to need it. Go ahead and take it. And you walked around right where I'm walking right now. And I was sitting there and that was the last I seen it. So why would you have done that? I don't know. I have no idea. Don't tell me I did it. Oh, Shut see. up. You know, damn well, you had to have done... I don't remember That's dementia, it, you know. I can't remember some stuff. Huh? That's dementia, you know. That's Alzheimer's. Putting bread in there, and then you would have put that in the fridge or cupboard or something. <laughs> you never know with me. Yeah, well. Can't help it. <laughs> I found your bread. Blame the car accident. <laughs> Shut up. We're not talking about a car accident. We're talking about you putting bread in my bivy sack. Well. I got brain damage. I can't help it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you sure do. All right, guys. Had to show that with you. Another exciting day of camping with Monkey. <laughs> well, at least we found it. I found it in my camping stuff. At least we found it. You know what? If it's a good thing I had to be in there because the next time I went to get my camping stuff out, I would have been very mad. Yeah, because it would have been very moldy. <laughs> I would have had a forest growing in there. Yeah, you would have. Alright guys, that concludes part two. Day three for me, day two for her. We got everything taken care of, all taken down. We left these guys a couple extra pieces of wood and a fire poker <laughs> that used to be about eight feet long and I just started burning the end of it until I got to where the size I needed it. So we got everything, I think. Yep. No stakes in the ground. Nope. No man left behind. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Give Monkey's channel a visit. She's got the same camp out, but a lot of different stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, different stuff. Yeah. I film a lot more than she does, so. I have something you don't know about. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> so, taking down the tent. No. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to watch the video. Yeah, you will. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, Monk. Monk says she's out. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to watch her, her uh, videos, too. So we'll see you in the next one. I uh, hope everyone had a great weekend. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, guys. Take care of Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. And uh, keep it on your bread. <laughs>